Hey guys, and welcome back, or maybe you're new here. If you are, I'm Taylor, and I work on a dairy farm in Maine, and I make videos about that, just daily life on the farm, so if you enjoy watching those kind of things, please don't forget to like and subscribe because we just love to have you guys join us. So anyway, this morning, obviously it's later in the morning, it's like 10 o'clock right now, so we've already milked the cows and they've gone out to pasture, so right now, Brent is over hooking onto the cattle trailer because today is gonna be really exciting. We're moving those heifers into the barn today. So we've got one hooked up right now. She's tied in there so we can get her on the trailer. We had quite a time catching her. We finally did catch one, so we've got a rope on her. And like I said, Brent's over hooking up the trailer right now. So um, he's gonna bring that over and back up to the barn. He'll just back up to the opening and let the ramp down because it is a ramp trailer, which makes it all the more fun to get calves on it because you kind of have to drag them up the ramp because most of them just fall onto their knees and pretend like they're dying because they think they are dying and they're very dramatic. So um, it's going to be quite a hard job to move five of them and drag them all up onto a trailer, but we'll get it done. Um, I'm pretty sure Brent has a gate he's going to put across, so we're going to put one up and then let her go and put the gate up and then put another up, let her go, put the gate up. So we don't have to have a million ropes tied. So that would just be a lot of work and also we don't have that many ropes. So... I'm just staying with her, otherwise I would be helping Brent, but I'm staying with her because she's kind of freaking out because she's tied up, so I'm just making sure she doesn't hurt herself or, you know, choke herself or anything. So, um, hopefully, with any luck, this will be easier than I think it's going to be, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite interesting. Okay, we're gonna bring it out in the middle or up the side? Probably up the side. I don't know, whatever you think's easiest. Up the side. This is probably not gonna be good. How are we gonna hold one in at a time? You said we were gonna use the gate. What gate? The one down there? That big, big, long thing? What's wrong with that one? Nothing, I guess. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we can do that. Let's go get that. You guys are gonna have a new home. No, wait, thank God. <laughs> God being for second hell hole. <laughs> I think we'll line that pen before we put those three in there. Probably. That, that dries up a lot of stuff. Yeah, it does. It's a pretty sad looking gate. Yeah. Don't even know why we keep it around, really. Nope. Just for this, I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't even know nice. if that'll work. There you go. Summers. Okay, Dad. Okay. Nice. See, she's fine. It's fine. So I guess I'm going to stay here and watch her while he goes and gets the one that we already had tied because she acts like she's not interested in her cornmeal, only interested in finding a way to escape, right? Mm. I don't know for sure, but I think she's either almost five months old or not quite five months old. But she's big. I don't understand why these Normandies have such long hair, though. You're a good girl. You're a sweetheart, aren't you? Yes, you're the good babies. Go, 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 go. Oh, that could be any heavier. 
right, girls. Yeah, put that tailgate like right on our way. grow better too yeah yeah they're starting to get so they're like I don't know not falling behind but eight or ten on that drill of that size would be all you could get <laughs> yeah it's really muddy over there said that scary. No, no, no. There, see? <laughs> Come on, the midget. Wow, they're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even care. Oh, go. She just went right in that stall. They're like, what the heck is it? <laughs> Uh, the first thing I did not expect him to go in the stalls. The first thing. Hey, let's uh, close this up and then we'll. Okay. And then we'll, leave, we'll just leave this gate here. They they disappeared. Yeah, I tried to pick it out the other day, but that thing's got some wicked roots on it. What do you think? Do you like it? We'll go get you a bale and we'll throw you some hay down. Ew, don't eat that. Like eight-year-old hay. Yum. Got the water all hooked up and got a float on it and everything, so. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Good. They're eating that hay. That's gross. That gross. The little hay that I left there. We'll bring some hay. That's a good one, I think. But... Yeah, I should think so. Good deal. Fiberglass. <laughs> <laughs> nice, cool, clean water. Time for round two. be less distance, won't it? I don't know, can you? I yeah. park kind of close. No, we can get by. Sorry. Sorry. We got a Lotus on us yesterday. The dump. So we've got to dump that sawdust. I'm going to mow. Then I'll tether. Then you'll tether. And then we're going to clean out those pens and put the calves in today, or are we going to wait to lime them? Some Wait to get some lime over the new car. Okay. I want to get my tire too.
empty pen. We'll clean this out and then we'll put them in there tomorrow because they are not gonna go in there when it looks like that. And also Brent wants to lime it first just to make sure we can get some of that moisture and anything bacteria that's in there, any of that out of there before we put the young ones in there. God, I'm a hell of a driver. <laughs> wow, look at that. So we finally got the heifers in. Um, they were just as excited as the other ones. They didn't really seem to care or just as unexcited, I guess I should say. They weren't really interested. They weren't even excited to see the other calves since they'd never been together. I kind of thought that they would be interested in that. But they really didn't care about anything, so um, we got them all in and cozy and gave them a bale. So now I'm out getting ready to mow a piece of second crop. We are doing it today because it's supposed to rain in a couple days. So today and tomorrow are really the only days that we have that we're going to be able to get anything done. It's not going to be warm enough to do dry hay. We are going to be doing some haylage. Um, but right now I just want to show you guys, this is what the storm did to some of the corn in our area. A lot of it looks like this. This is flattened and it's also flattened all the way back to that wall over there. Um, just really bad. A lot of fields look like that in our area. And it's just a shame because corn was getting ready to be harvested in like a couple weeks top. So it really came at a really bad time. We just spent a couple weeks later. A lot of people would have made it out, but um, a lot of it did get ruined. And the corn didn't look very good this year anyway because we had a lot of rain. So it's very yellow and very thin and not very big ears on it. So we really, this year was just a really, really show you guys that so let's get going and I'm having a very super healthy meal I didn't eat this morning so now I'm just snacking on some donuts real quick um, so while I was mowing I went to turn and for some strange reason this thing stood up caught a hole of the PTO shaft and dug a lot of spots into it I don't know why I just touched it that was stupid now I'm gonna have a piece of metal in my hand um, made quite some marks on it but I don't think it really hurt anything so it's just always something I did want to show you guys real quick so we pretty much finished painting it's a mess in here by the way um, we finished we pretty much paint we pretty much finished painting the sign there we go we've got i think three coats on it now so all we have to do is put it on this board it's just taking us a long time because we have so many projects going on right now 
that is just crazy. So I think it's lunchtime. We're gonna go get some lunch. I think it's 12.30 right now. Um, and the sad part is that I forgot and left my donuts on the fender of the tractor and took off and lost my donuts somewhere. So now I'm starving. So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. I always enjoy taking you along with us. Um, so please don't forget to like and comment down below and hit that notification bell so you know when any new videos are being posted. Keep it real, keep farming, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.